Here today we're going to discuss about translation synthesis bypass by Victoria Brennis and Brandon Jacobs. Starting off in normal DNA replication, polymerase 3 and PCNA travel along the DNA strand, replicating without mutation. This process is continuous until the replicative polymerase 3 stalls at a site of DNA damage, where we see with the purple triangle above. At this site, the addition of the ubiquitin monomer to PCNA allows the bypass polymerase 5 to replace polymerase 3. Bypass polymerase is larger than polymerase 3 because it has a larger pocket that allows it to tolerate large adducts on the bases. Thus, replication continues past the lesion. The initial change, however, is not repaired since the bypass polymerase lacks 3' to 5' proofreading activity on the main replicative polymerase. Since the damage is not repaired, translation DNA synthesis is error prone. After adding only a few nucleotides, the bypass polymerase falls off. Polymerase 3 reattaches to the sliding clamp and synthesis continues. Although normal synthesis is allowed to continue past the lesion, the mutation still remains. The mutation is however more desirable than allowing the cell to initiate a cell death pathway.